and these are super fun, super fast. We're probably hitting about, I don't know, 50 k's, over jump, way over jump, fuck! Okay riders, welcome to La Panilla. This is the bike park about uh, an hour and a half north of Madrid. I am on my new decoy, the electric bike from YT. This is our, our major bike park in Madrid. And I'm excited to see how an electric old man's bike really handles some uh, hardcore riding. There's, I would say there's two black runs here, patrol and vertical. Vertical is very steep and rocky. And patrol has a lot of jumps and a few drops in it. So I will attempt to do all of them and let's see how it goes. Let's go check it out. So today I'm excited to be riding the e-bike and this is like my first little test, you know, like how is it going to be in the bike park? Is it going to be fun? Is it going to be the same? Is it going to be agile? Am I going to be able to jump everything? Am I going to be able to do all the black runs? Um, you know, we're adding 10 kilos or 9 kilos onto what I'm normally riding. So, okay riders, let's go check out how the e-bike goes at a bike park. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're doing the holly to warm up. First, kind of downhill on the e-bike. As I said, super well balanced. Pushing me forward a little bit, actually. Gonna have to check that rebound out. Okay. Can't talk that much when I'm riding because even though it's not super hard, still got to concentrate on these trails. A bit dusty and blown out. Got some tabletops here. Easy. They're pretty big. They're pretty easy though. So, not gonna lie, bike's feeling a little bit heavy. I'm a little bit nervous pushing it as I would a normal bike. I'm sure that's just teething. But it feels planted. And also, we're in the middle of summer, haven't actually been doing that much riding. So, I'm a bit rusty. Got a set of doubles here. Oh, jumps really well, this bike. Just floats over stuff. Another little set of doubles, another set of doubles, too fast left. Another double, another fast left. Okay, so second downhill starting off now. This is called DH, I believe. And we hit off to a left here. Nice, pretty blown out. A little bit steeper here, a bit tacky. Ooh. Nice. And we are down. Oh, I remember there's a drop here. It's a good one. So, two runs already getting abuse by the mountain bikers. You know, it's like blast for him at these places riding it. An e bike. It's pretty strange. Yeah, these trails are pretty blown out. But nothing the e bike can't handle. Hey, pick the outside line. I mean, if you've seen my other videos, I actually link one of the videos where I raced Holly bike here, uh, which is like mega avalanche, and that was really cool. And that was a few months ago. But the conditions are definitely worse here now. Okay, a few switchbacks coming down to the bottom of the mountain now. Yeah, super dry. 
As I said, it is summer in Madrid. We have a nice tabletop here. Still learning to jump the bike, but let's give it a go. Ooh, foot came off the pedal. My name is Camilo and I ride a Pivot Firebird. Oh, nice That's bike. So we just finished our morning run. We're having some lunch. Check it out. It's pretty good. This comes with the with the lift pass, 31 euros. Yeah, La Penilla, if you haven't been. Uh, pretty good bike park, best one in Spain. And uh, yeah, hour and a half north of Madrid. And we will enjoy the good food. <laughs> Okay, so we're a bit warmed up now. Gonna go have a little sniff at the jump line. Okay, so we came down vertical, which links up to the bottom of Patro, and this is the jump trail. Gonna have a bit of distance because because it's so fucking dusty. Okay, easy. As I said, the bike just really levels out so well. With this drop, first time I've done it on a bike. Oh, definitely nice. You. Okay, now the last three jumps, four jumps. Bit a nice double here. Roll another double. A roll over. Big set of 12 foot, 12 meter doubles. Another one. You. And another one. You. <laughs> this bike is so dope. <laughs> Welcome back riders. We are actually at our apartment here. Bear, the lovely camera lady is behind the camera and the decoy here. I had my final thoughts of the day and I kind of did a pretty bad video. Uh, it was very messy backgrounds in my camper van and it just looks terrible. So I'm reshooting it because I care about you guys. Uh, how does the decoy handle a bike park? Well, it's double thumbs up, man double thumbs up really good really good bike uh, had a lot of fun um, it definitely definitely can handle a bike park jumps well accelerates in and out of corners better than i expected it is a big bike at 23 kilos it does take a fair bit of muscling around um, and saying that the next day or actually 48 hours after i rode was mental i had pain in my hands that I'd never felt before in my life and in on the side of my calves and my hamstrings and my lower back. I was surprised because I didn't feel like when I was riding the bike I didn't feel like I was muscling it that much. It felt pretty natural. Do I recommend the decoy as a park bike? Well probably not. It's a you know it's a it could be your only bike uh, but if you're the type of person that likes to to ride park every weekend get a park bike um the e-bike's not going to be it's not going to be the bike that you want you know like it but if you're someone that likes riding you know park three or four times a year and going to the alps or you know doing a a, a trip with your mates for a week it's fine i mean you're probably going to end the day more tired than everyone else because you are muscling that bike but it will get the job done another thing uh it jumping mental this bike jumps man like it's a 29 at the front 27 at the back 23 kilos this thing picks up speed like nothing else i've ever seen um i scared the shit out of myself on a set of a six pack uh three doubles jumped the first one clean over jumped the second one a little bit but kept on picking up speed and really overshot the last one and these were big doubles these were like 11 12 13 meter doubles and uh yeah it was very scary landing on the flat with a 23 kilo bike even though i was scared when i landed because you know it was a big impact um it was fine bikes plush um another thing to note the bike does not like hanging up at all if you land 50 50 on a set of doubles um good luck i mean it, you'll get bounced I landed 50-50 on a tabletop and uh, I slipped a pedal. I think I've got a little mark here. 
and uh, it wasn't nice. It was, um, you know, there's a lot of weight coming down, so you've got to ride smooth. For me, someone that's learning to jump, it's it, that's going to be challenging because it's a it's a big bike. You know, another thing that I was thinking about uh, when buying an e-bike, so okay, it's 23 kilos, the battery weighs four, three and a half, four kilos. Can I take the battery out and ride park? After riding the weekend in La Panilla, um, it's very, very obvious that you don't want to take the battery out for a few reasons. One, you need to know that bike, you need to understand the weight on the braking, the bike brakes 20 to 30% slower than a normal bike. So you don't want to go ride it normally, then take four kilos off the bike, then keep and then ride it again because the braking, you're going to have to readjust all your braking and all your suspension because the bike will be three kilos lighter. Something I didn't think that would work that well. I mean, some of the stuff that we ride is quite tight and technical and there's a few jumps and there's a few things that you want to line up for. With the motor, I was riding in trail most of the time and you just give yourself a little half kick of the pedals and you really pick up speed quickly. When I was jumping the the patrol, which is the, the, the jump track, like if you're riding a normal bike, you've got to get the corners perfect coming out of it and then you give a couple of cranks and you're over the jumps. With the e-bike, it wasn't like that at all. With the e-bike, I could come out of the corner super slow, be in the right gear and just give it two cranks or one crank and the electric motor would just kick in and I'd be over. So that was definitely a bonus, um, something I didn't think about. Cool. Okay, riders. Right, so my final thought on the YT decoy for a park bike. It gets thumbs up, double thumbs up. If you're the type of person that wants to ride park a couple of times a year, it's your bike. Not sure you want to do it all the time, but it, it can handle it. Um, look, we've had a, you know, this is my part-time, not even my part-time job. I, I love riding bikes. It's my passion. Um, and uh, this week's been a great week. You know, we've had over 2,000 views on the videos. Um, obviously, there's a lot of interest in the, in the decoy. Um, look, I love the YouTube and the, the online audience that, you know, everyone's really, you know, friendly and that there's no one hating out there. It's great. If you've got any questions, hit me up. Any questions on the bike, any questions on e-bikes, any questions on Spain, anything, hit me up, you know, um, and I would really appreciate, you know, we've had 2,000 views, but we only have 200 subscribers. I would really appreciate if you click that subscribe button below, please, you know, let's have a moment of silence for that subscribe button, please. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, please subscribe. Um, I would really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, the channel is a lot of work. Um, and my next video is going to be, can you use an e-bike for fitness? That's next week. And uh, I'm hoping to drop a video once a week. That's my plan, hopefully on a Friday. Um, you know, don't hold me to it, but I'm gonna really try and get out content once a week. And riders, remember, keep riding. It's not the bike, it's the rider. And have a beer for me.